Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We lost probably our most valuable squad member in the last episode, our sniper. So, yeah, that was not great. Uh, we did hire an assault to replace him because we can't find any snipers or heavies at all. Okay, oh, there's a Pandoran lair. Not a nest, a lair. Okay. So we need to heal up and we need to start a scan down here. So let's do an area scan there and then we can head up here and start exploring. Because we have five healthy people here. Or Basement of Brilliant Ideas Exploration Site. Our operative sat down in a small town far from other population centers. A house to house search reveals one place with a trapdoor in the floor. There's an entire bunker, and the house looks like someone was preparing for an apocalypse. Okay. The bunker is fully functional and well stocked, but its single occupant seems to have perished from the effect of regularly ingesting bleach. Our best guess is that this was part of some kind of religious ritual. Okay. Uh, materials 180, food 40. All right. Let's head over here. I think we'll start an area scan over here in this area as well. Explore this. Hot stuff exploration site. The team at two has landed less than a kilometer away from a huge fire. It looks like an entire abandoned village is burning. A few buildings at the edge of the blaze could still be searched, although it's risky. Let's brave the flames. Uh, the, so the buildings are overgrown with some kind of mutated lichen that smells intensely of sulfur. It reacts explosively to fire. Officers retrieve as many resources as possible before the fire gets too close. 60 techs, 140 materials, and we've suffered 30 damage. Crap. Let's head up here. Uh, let's see, how are these guys doing? Uh, two of them still need to heal a bit. For this area. Alright, we have another satellite uplink. Scavenging site. Uh, threat level low. Light level night. Enemy Pandoran. Alright, let's uh, do some scavenging with our new team here. So let's start the mission and deploy the squad. Wow, that is cool. I like it. I like the Tiamat. I really like the Tiamat. That looks really awesome. Okay, so I think, don't I have a new razor on one of these guys as well? Yes, I do. So we might be able to capture something let's see what do we have we have food 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 materials food food no tech whatsoever and that blows all right we have a full wall here i think i think we're heading up in this direction all right so Ah, oh, this is our decoy dude, who also has shotgun. Um, let's come up here and see what we see. Nothing. So I, I'm gonna be a little bit cautious. Because... Right, you can be there. Yeah. The last mission told us that we should be cautious. Right. Let's come over here. And you can actually overwatch down this way. And you can overwatch in here. We have our 
priest thing here. Hmm. There's a shotgun up there and a rifle. Ready for action. I think we'll send our no time to waste. Melly down here with this guy and then send the priest Palms up here online. with these guys. Okay. Here comes something. I don't think he sees us. 280 hit points. Okay. Uh, in there. Uh, he can dash. Not in there, though. Let's dash up here. Can hit. Alright. We'll hold off on that for a second. You can dash as well, so you could dash up here. And get some shots in. Which means that we'll be spotted. Oh, there's another one. There. Why, why can't you shoot him? Seriously? Well, you're gonna have to dash into cover after shooting. I guess you'll shoot at this guy. Then we have Priesty. Basically, all he can do is get up here and take a shot with his thing. Now, you two, you can dash. Just dash in here. And then you can... You could actually dash up and smack him or something. Uh, who has the neuralizer thing? Uh, oh, that's you. I want to give that to my melee after this. All right, let's damage this pincer. Let's take that okay. Ready for action. Hmm. If you come in here and take a shot. Hmm. At his head. That wasn't great. But now, I think I want to try and come in and paralyze this guy. Hmm... What? You can't shoot anymore. You know what? You can. You come up here. Fire. Right. And then you come up here, dash. Uh, up here, and then he'll be able to do paralyze three times. of 26. Like right. 16 or 26. 
back. 24, 26. So he needs to paralyze him one more time. Man, that sucks. Man, that sucks. He still have, has his spitter head and he still has his thing. We have that guy up there. Let's Pointing. come up this way. And end the turn. There are two up there. Alright. You come over here. And strike him. He's paralyzed. But he's still bleeding, so I don't think we're gonna get him. I seriously doubt that we're gonna get him. See, I don't really care about the, um, whoa, okay. Now that should be a reasonably easy target to paralyze, to be honest. But, uh, we'll take it out instead. And then we have you. You can dash 15 to 16 willpower, that's pretty damn sweet. He's paralyzed, so it doesn't really matter. I want you to dash in here. And then I want you to dash up to the door. And then I want you to throw a grenade. Uh, can't you throw the grenade? Crap. And I want to dash over here. And throw the grenade. I don't care about the... Ooh, to be honest. I wonder what the other thing in there is, if there is another th thing in there. You can dash three times. Let's dash up here. There is another thing, and there's uh, another of those. Ooh, you can't dash anymore. We need to kill something, so we could dash over here, whack that. Dash in here. Hit one of these guys. And then run out. That would be a possibility. Ready for action. Theoretically. I can induce panic on who? I don't care about that. Uh, let's come out move. here. I don't think you'll be able to hit that. No, you'll just hit... Uh, Agent J instead. We're out of moves. You can shoot, but you can't hit anything. You have another grenade, but that would take... Mm. You have a grenade. You could throw a grenade and then dash in. Whack that thing. And then run out. I know how to do this. Okay, we disabled the launcher arms. 
He has a spitter head left. He has a spitter head and a pincer. Let's dash over here and strike that thing. It's bleeding for 20. It has 10 hit points, so it is going to die. And now you can dash into cover somewhere. Let's oh, dash into going. cover over here. You can't do anything. You could theoretically take a shot. You... How far? You can dash... Once. That doesn't really help me right now. And then there's you. Uh, what? Oh. Let's just get into cover. And then turn. He couldn't go very far, but he's gonna spit, isn't he? Yeah. Is he gonna spit too? Oh, he missed. Oh no, he didn't miss. We need to end this now. Well, you need to heal. Okay. And you need to take him out. Actually, he should be easy. Reasonably easy to paralyze, I think. Which means we want to take this guy out. How much health does he have left? 37. So I th actually think we need to take that guy out and paralyze him. his pincer is he completely toothless now no where's his spitter head how far can you dash over here which means you can run in here and try and paralyze him three times 8 of 24, all right. 16 of 24. 24, 24. Paralyzed. We got him! Nice! We took some damage, but not bad. No one leveled up, but they are quite high level already, so the new team did okay. The new team did quite all right. Let's head back to the Geoscape. Cool, cool, cool. So we recovered the crates. We got some stuff. Redeemer mag, a crossbow quiver, iconoclast, and we got two Arthrons. I like it. All right, and everyone is pretty much fine. So let's head over here. Manticore is almost fine. We'll start an area scan here. And is 
is the manticore almost almost so let's explore here oh we need research arthron river section let's do it which means what about the um Shouldn't we be getting more mutagens now from catching that thing? Where is the uh, mutation lab? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's... No, no, no. You... Explore. Exploration site, Titan's Grasp. This site is the location of the Titan's Grasp, an unsettling surrealist sculpture created by the artist uh, Victoria Gutierrez. Hewn into a steep cliff and decorated with swirling patterns of onyx and lapis lazuli, it was the artist's masterpiece and also her downfall, claiming that the voices she heard were real. Gutierrez killed herself after completing her work. Her suicide note consisting only of a single word scribbled over and over. You caught. Okay. I wonder what that means. This is obscene. Destroy it. Study the artworks. Perhaps Gutierrez had some kind of insight. Turn this into a worse place of worship. Materials minus 25. I think, I think we'll study it. While many critics dismissed Gutierrez as merely mad, there is far too much method to her madness for such a simplistic diagnosis. diagnosis. Unsettlingly, the shape she depicted in such minute swirling detail seemed to be a close match for the behavior of the mist. Okay, last hundred research. Nice. Uh, let's see, you are healed now. Let's take a look at our personnel here. So you leveled up. Her training. Hmm. I really think I want to turn you into a assault as well. And then next time you level up, you'll get dash and you'll get close quarters combat and you'll get an iconoclast. Because that thing sucks. So let's go to manufacturing uh, equipment, make another iconoclast. Back to personnel. You training. You are getting those quarters. You're getting dash. And you're getting this all right equipment let's switch it up and give you an iconoclast and some ammo and you know what grab an extra med kit all right sage let's See, one, two, three, four, five, six on that ship. We have five on the ship that can hold eight. So we need more troops. We need more troops. Uh, everyone is reasonably... Is reasonably good. Uh, HP, everyone is rested. So we can send you out. Now this is the Biogenesis. This is the one for Sinidrian. I think that might be what we're doing. And then we'll head up here and do a area scan up here. We have more than one area scan going at the moment. We have two, but we do have the ability to do three. So maybe we should head up here and get that area scan going. Ooh, and there was also this layer that we need to do. Uh, but if you push the flood away the flood. too far, you will die of stagnation. 
Sinedrian has forgotten how to look beyond the flood, at the wide sea, at the future. Instead, they look inward, lost in a maze of reflections. What they offer is not salvation, but a trap. Okay. I think I accidentally skipped the first part because I was hitting space just as it started. So I don't know what the first half was about, but um, Disciples of Anu def definitely don't like uh, Sinedrian. Now, let's... No, 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 no. You... Head over there. Manticore, head up here. Right. You explore. Research complete. Arthron River section. Summary. When kept in isolation, the Arthron's behavior seems to revert to the most basic animal functions. On the battlefield, they clearly rely on intelligent direction from some more intel intelligent Pandoran mutations. From what we can decipher, the language relates mostly to combat and killing, but mixed in with some strange references to an all-seeing entity. They are not independent beings, but are created by some kind of cloning process that constantly mutates in a similar manner to the RNA editing process first discovered in colioid cephalop cephalopods. I have no idea what that is. Uh, language, Rud rudimentary vocabulary estimated at 450 words, interrogation, all reproduction of language was not able to elicit any useful information e except reference to a superior being. Countermeasures, behavioral and physiological analysis will give our operatives an advantage, an advantage in combating Arthrons in the field. Damage inflicted on Arthrons is increased by 10%. Very nice. Have you ever thought about the ethics of our relationship with the Arthrons? We all say we're fighting to save humanity, but aren't they human? At least in part. They can speak, they can think. Uh, sure, they can, but... Uh, I kind of agree with there isn't enough humanity left in them to matter, but I th think we'll do. If there was a way to save them, we would do it. So would I. After all, in a way, they are part of us. Our friends, our families, all those who were taken from us. I would take them back if I could. Okay. Uh, let's see, are we up here yet? Uh, no, he's on the way. So let's just continue. Ooh, a new Jericho Haven with a soldier who is a... Dang it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want another assault. Let's we'll head up here and get a scan going here so that we get well we already have a scan right there. Which is gonna go all the way out there. Well, no, it's not. It's gonna go like. How far is it gonna go? I don't know. We're, we're, we're gonna head up there. Alright. You. Area scan. Explore. The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. Babel, Babylon. Uh, we are not gonna make it there in time. We are too far away. Be able to make it there in time. Sorry, guys. Okay, unknown soldiers, Fort Roark. At the new Jericho Haven of Fort Roark, our operatives are treated cautiously. Commander Fatma Herman mentions previous dealings with the Phoenix Project. On further inquiry, he reveals that two Phoenix Project scientists were detained here due to being infected. Unfortunately, both are deceased. Apparently, these scientists who never managed to make contact with Phoenix Point and may have been unaware of the Phoenix, uh, unaware that the Phoenix Project even still existed, 
were conducting research in the area when they were infected. Commander Herman insists that their research belongs to Fort Rourke. Command that the research be shared with the Phoenix part. Accept Commander Herman's position. Go up the chain of command. Ask Tobias West for the research directly. Ask Tobias. West is deeply irritated with Commander Herman and his interference with such a highly valued ally. He strongly suggests that another mistake of her of this magnitude would be fatal. Okay. Research plus 100. Sites added to Geoscape 2 exploration. Ooh. Cool. So we have an exploration site there and an exploration site there. We're scanning over there and you are exploring there. That's fine. Uh, let's head to this exploration site. You've been ambushed. Terrific. Thanks a lot. All right, so in the next episode, we will start out with an ambush, it seems. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.